So Centini, the performance, is based on a huge work. It's the big epic of Java, uh, written at the beginning of the 19th century by three court poets from uh, Surakarta in central Java. And it's considered like an encyclopedia of the knowledge of Java, but also it's a beautiful uh, wandering, a quest for the inner self, for the spiritual or the union with God. You know? So it's about 4,000 pages long and all in verses because the literature in the old time, especially in Java, was in terms of song, yeah? like the tembang. Yeah? It's called tembang or mochopat. It was written in the 19th century, but it might be much more ancient. You know, the, the, the babon, as we said in Indonesia, in Java, is the, 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 the womb is much older. So, working on it by the end of the 20th century, I had also to add some, a new layer of the 21st century, coming from the West, being a woman. So, this is my contribution also, and, and so it uh, ended up to be a book of 400 pages and uh, in French, and then we translated it into Indonesian and it became the Centini of the 21st century for Indonesia. So, and this is how now Centini is known in Indonesia through this version, because the, the ancient version is uh, too difficult to, to read. Yeah. I was dreaming to perform it in a way, to bring back, it back alive. And there, there is a, the hero of the Centini is called Amungraga. Among Rogoyas, yes? the one who is carrying his body, he has to, to carry his body. He's dreaming of the union with God, you know, to Moksha, yeah? but he has to carry his body. It's heavy, you know, for his whole life. And he has a brother. So this Amungraga is Javanese, and the brother is an adoptive son, and he is Chinese. And in the story, uh, the Chinese uh, son wants the war against Sultan Agung. It's the, the, the play is taking uh, uh, place in the 17th century, at the, beginning of the, at the beginning of the 17th century, with Sultan Agung in Java, who wants to, to overtake the complete island. And there is a small uh, sultanate, a caliphate, uh, in East Java called Giri, uh, which is resisted. Yeah. And the Sunan Giri uh, asks his two sons, should I uh, become a subject of Sultan Agung or should I uh, make war against him? And the Chinese son says, you should not submit and we, we will fight. And, but the Javanese son says, no, we should look for peace. And you can see a conflict between two sons, but as a matter of fact, I read it as a conflict within yourself. And I reinterpreted it because this is a suluk, so it's, in, it's a Muslim Sufi work, yeah? As the small jihad and the great jihad, you know? Well, the small jihad, you have to make war sometimes. You know, if you have some robbers coming into your house, you have to defend yourself. At least defend your wife, your daughters, if they, but then, uh, you have to go on the great jihad, which is the war against your own pa passions. Yeah, this is the m most difficult, and this is what is Chantini about. At the beginning, it talks about war, but then it's the big, very long quest for uh, cleaning up your p own patience. So this is the same character, and I always dream to make it, to perform it with Didini Nitowo, who is a very famous dancer in uh, Indonesia. No, we didn't change the characters, we didn't change the, the writings, we just made a kind of uh, scenario so it can work, you know, in an hour and that we can see all the characters of Centini. Because Centini is considered as a sacred book, but also as a very uh, down-to-earth book because it's about life and life sometimes can be very spiritual, sometimes can be very vulgar, sometimes can be very sacred, sometimes beautiful. Uh, it's, it talks about princes but also about uh, very 
poor people or village people, you know, so we try to take parts of the Chantini that can uh, uh, symbolize all these faces of Chantini, all the characters, so Didik is playing many characters in one hour.